Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to do a couple of examples here. So I have the number line on the board. And I'm going to read to you what it says. It says, on the number line, 4 is to the right of 1. So that means 4 is greater than 1. Okay? So 4 is to the right of 1. Right? So 4 is greater than 1. And so what we would write is we would say 4 is greater than 1. Or we could say that 1 is less than 4. These two are saying the same thing. Okay? Um, now, also, on the negative side, we see that negative 4 is to the left of negative 1. Right? So if we look at negative 4, negative 4 is to the left of negative 1. So negative 4 is less than negative 1. So we would write negative 4 is less than negative 1. Or, equivalently, we could write negative 1 is greater than negative 4. Okay? Either one is correct. Okay? Let's see here. Um, now, a couple of things too uh, that I want to mention here is integers, right? What are the integers? Well, whole numbers, remember what whole numbers are. Those are the counting numbers including zero, right? So you have the natural numbers, which are the, just the counting numbers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, right? All of the counting numbers. And then the whole numbers include zero. Now, integers include all of the whole numbers and then all of the negative values or all of the opposite signed values of the natural numbers. So if you take all the whole numbers and then take the negative values of the natural numbers, of the counting numbers, and add that to the mix, then you have all of the integers. Okay? And those are what we call the signed numbers. Okay? Um, or signed whole numbers, if you will. Okay, so those are what we call integers. Okay, so it's all the counting numbers and their negatives and including zero. Okay, now, so that's what we mean by integers. Now, what's between the integers, right? So what's, what, are, what do we find in between the integers, right? On the left and the right. So what are those called? Those are where we find our fractions, or our decimals, okay? So we'll find fractions and decimals in between the integers. Now we can write all the integers as a fraction, right? Just by dividing by one, right? But if we want to find all the other fractions and decimals, those are what lie between the integers, okay? So for example, one half, or negative one half, or one and a half, and negative one and a half, and so on, or a third, right, or a fourth, or one sixteenth, or a negative three sixteenths, and stuff like that. Those are what we're going to find between integers, okay, on the number line. Um, and let's see here. Okay, um, next we'll start talking about adding sign values, and this is, it's all going to be based on what we're learning right here on the number line and the fact that certain numbers are greater than or less than other numbers.